Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement problems. This is standard 4.8c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 12 of the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, we have Randy, and he's got a table showing all of the chores he did on a Saturday morning that looks like he spent a lot of time doing various things. And so, it seems pretty simple. We just need to add up the time. All right, so let's, let's just see what happens. We've got the time in minutes here, so let's just add that up. So, I've got 5, 10, 15. All right. And then, let me see, 1 and 4 make 5, and another 5 makes 10. And then 3 and 3 make 6, and 4 make another 10, so 205. But that is not one of my options. So that's the trick in this problem. I can easily add up those five numbers to get 205 minutes. I need to convert those into hours. So there's a few different ways we can do it. So let me show you the timeline way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to take a look and we're just going to pretend like these are all like hours right here. I'm just going to kind of make it almost look like fractions right here. I'll leave myself a little bit of room if I need to go over, right? And so I'm just going to break this up into chunks here. So I'm going to do my first. So this is zero. This is going to be one since I'm since I'm going for hours. I'm just going to go ahead and label these as my hours. And I could just go ahead and break this up. And here's what I need to know. I need to know that 60 minutes equals one hour. This is on our mathematics chart. That's the key conversion that I'm going to need to keep in mind. So I've got this 40 minutes to begin with, right? So 40 minutes is less than 60. So I can just put my 40 minutes right here. He's sweeping the garage. That's done. Now, if I want to get into this 55 minutes, I'm going to need to break up that 55. So I need to use a little bit of the associated property. How many minutes left do I have to the hour? Well, I've got 20 minutes left to the hour because 40 and 20 make 60. So I'm going to take that 55 and I'm going to break it up into 20 and 35. So I'm going to kind of do like this. I'm going to keep track of there's my 55. So that's what we have to do is we have to break it up to get to each hour. So now I've got 35. I'm thinking, how much minutes do I have left? I've got 35 minutes into this hour. So that's going to leave me, and if we're not sure, we can always subtract, but that's going to leave me 25, right? So we can just subtract 30 and 35 and 60, and we can say, okay, we got 25 minutes. So I'm going to take this 35 minutes. I'm going to break that into 25 to get to the hour. And that's just going to leave me 10. All right, so now I'm past past that hour for 10. There's my 35. So I need 45 minutes, and I can actually get to 45 minutes because 10 and 45 gets me to 55. So I'm basically, I don't have to break that one up. It's that 30 that's going to be that last one. So I'm at 55 minutes. So I know that 30 is going to get me a 5. I just need 5, boop, to get up to that 3 hours. And then that leaves me with 25 minutes. So there we go, 25 minutes, and that's my 30. So you see where I'm sitting right now. I've got three hours, and I've got 25 minutes, which is an answer choice. Now, if we didn't want to do all that, what is another option? Well, I can just uh, either divide. It might be easier just to subtract, right? I can use repeated subtraction to figure out how many 60s I can get out of this 205. So I'm going to just do some subtraction here. I need to do regrouping here. And so I've got 145 minutes left after I take out one hour, because remember that one hour is 60 minutes. Now I'm going to take another hour out, and that is going to be, let's see, 14, that's 85. And I've got one more hour that I can take out without going over, that's 25. And then put that together, look, I've got three hours. 25 minutes. My answer is F. 